If there is one word that gives Ocean City homeowners like me the willies, it is crawl space. There are no basements on our island, just cold, wet, and frightening crawl spaces. While Hurricane Sandy flooded our crawl space, missing the first floor of our house by inches. A flooded crawl can result in dangerous electrical issues as well as mold if the insulation isn't pulled out. I decided to suit up and go and investigate. Cape insulation came and took out a lot of the insulation, but they couldn't get under the kitchen and the floorboards are cupping. Cupping occurs when the top is dry and the bottom is damp and it causes the center of each slat to be lower so it's kind of like a concavity for each slat. A plumber told us that the main electric line was just lying in a puddle. Darren told me to look for junction boxes which are metal boxes and I'm going to take my camera I can set it for low light and this is my my miner's helmet. I just duct taped a flashlight onto my jogging hat. Hopefully this will work. This is the crawl space for the the main part of the house. Okay, so I'm down here and what I'm looking for mainly right now is any electrical boxes and electrical lines. Let's see, this looks like an electrical line. Here, we see some stuff on the ground. Cable lines, some plumbing stuff. Yeah, I think we, we probably need to have our electric looked at because a lot of these lines seem like they're kind of lying around on the ground. I don't know if this is old or what, but that sure as hell doesn't look good. This is interesting. You can actually see above the cinder blocks a gap we definitely could use more vents down here, I think. This looks like a real nest of electric stuff. There's all sorts of wires and stuff. I think when the plumber said the main electrical line was on the ground, it might be, oops, it might be this. Now this is where we should have access to the under the kitchen, but I'm not sure it's actually going to work. It does look like the the floor comes right up to it, but maybe I can get some shots of what's underneath. There's a big beam here. It definitely looks like there is insulation in there. I can see something blowing. That's probably good. I can definitely feel air. Yeah, you can see the insulation hanging. I think it could be taken out if they could make a hole from the outside or inside, but you just can't get through here. It's just too narrow. See, it's a very narrow space. It's about eight inches. I'm gonna try to feel if that's wet. It probably is. I feel the, I feel the paper. You can't tell whether there's any electric lines hanging down, although it's pretty new construction, so hopefully it would be all right. That is one good thing, the airflow. I can definitely feel a breeze coming through, and that, that's got to be good. It's, this is possibly one of those junction boxes. It may have gotten wet. It's not sparking or anything, which is good. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about, really, but...
Here's our problem with a dryer vent. This is totally filled with water and debris. Now this is right near where the dryer vent leaves the house and I hope to God this is all old because this is totally exposed. Horrible. Okay, here's the other one. Gonna go in here. This is under the family room. This crawl is narrower, not as much vertical height. Okay, here comes what might be some kind of electrical line. And it's on the ground. Sort of the same story. We have stuff on the ground, whether it's live, electric, I don't know. Here's a bunch of stuff coming out of the corner of the room. Again, we're in the family crawl space. I'm not really sure what all these wires, etc., do. Okay, this is a pretty good view. Looking, I think, under the kitchen. A little hard to tell how the joists are doing, whether they're wet. I can't get in here. Tiny hole. It does appear that much of the insulation is down. And there's, as you can see, there's a breeze. This definitely is wet right in here. Not sure what these pieces of wood are for. Kind of under a beam, but I don't know what they're doing. Well, I we just got out of the crawl space. Uh, you can learn a lot of crawling around down there. I'm gonna take a shower. Yeah, thanks. Nancy got me some soap. One thing I think I can say for certain is there are very few people in Ocean City who spent time in their crawl space in the last week or so who have one pink nail. I did this for luck. I let my granddaughter Maybe it helped. Maybe that's why we didn't get water in our house.